these are my 4,000 gallon water tanks up here. And I don't know if you can tell the tops there, but they are all caved in and that is not water from inside the tank. So, the snow actually caved these in and then kind of filled up like a bowl. And I think that once I relieve the, the water out of here, that it should just pop right back into place. But I don't know, that has yet to be determined. I imagine there is at least 80 gallons of water up there in the top. So that's like, you know, four or 500 pounds. Uh, all right, <clears throat> so these things are not popping back up like I thought they would. My only thought, last ditch effort to try to fix it before I actually go down inside there, which is terrifying to me, is to stick a pipe in and try to use it as a lever to pop it back up. <clears throat> but I don't know if that's going to work but it's worth trying before I, before I get down in there. I tried using that pipe as a lever to open it, and that did not work. Um, so, I consulted with one of my buddies from college. He's super intelligent. And he, he was saying, well, maybe a blast of compressed air would work. And I don't know how the heck to get a, that much volume of compressed air in there to blast it open. He said, what about a gas leaf blower? So that I do have. And it's worth a shot. If it saves me from having to crawl inside that tank, which I don't want to have to do. So, I'm going to duct tape the end of this leaf blower onto the bottom bulkhead on the tank and turn it on full blast and see if that's enough air to pop it back into place. Maybe it'll just blow the manhole cover off of it, but it's worth a shot. All right, let's do this. So first things first, we got to drain out all the water that accumulated in there during this winter. And I'm gonna move all my stuff out of the way because it is going to get wet. So now I'm going to throw a little bit more duct tape, or I should say a little bit of duct tape around this manhole cover because I want to try to make it as airtight as possible. It doesn't need to be completely airtight, but mostly airtight. So well, this is not the most, uh, this is not the most conducive area for filming.
it's not perfect, but it's sealing up some of these extra air gaps. And maybe that leaf blower is gonna have enough, kick out enough volume of air to pop this thing back into place. I can still hear it draining, but I think that we are getting pretty, pretty close. All right, it's all drained out. I use my trusty garden hose right here to siphon the tank down a little bit more so that there wasn't any extra drippage. I'm trying to dry everything out in here. Make sure that the mating surface is clean for the duct tape. Only thing left to do is to figure out how to hook that up to that. Um, all right, let's do it. Here goes nothing. No fucking way. Oh my God. Instantly popped it back into shape. <laughs> I'm shocked. Uh, it popped this thing back up like it was nothing. That's what it used to look like. It's still a little deformed, but whatever. All right, so I've got one more tank to do. And because um, I got a little bit excited on that last one. I'm going to try to set up a couple better camera angles for this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one camera right here looking at the tank as a whole, and then I'm going to put one up on top of that fiberglass tank looking down so you can see the top pop out. That was it. That's all it took was like two seconds with the blower. And they're both blown back into shape. I have a couple closing thoughts. 
if you run into this problem and you're gonna try this. Um, I really, I think if you have a big enough leaf blower, you really don't even need to duct tape it. Like that big backpack pack blower that I was using, it puts out enough air where I think you could just, I think you could just pull the bulkhead fitting off the bottom or the top if your tank is full of water and just kind of mate the surfaces together and just go full blast and it would work. Um, second thing, don't remove the lid. Um, so on that, on that last tank that I did, I removed the lid because I tried to get a pipe in there to leverage the top back up and that just caused the top of the tank to deform further. So the lid adds like an element of structural integrity to the tank that is really helpful. Um, other than that, it's this is like a super simple solution to a problem that I thought was going to be like really annoying to fix. Like I thought I was going to have to lower myself into that 10 foot tall tank and you know, use a farm jack or something to jack the top of it up. But the leaf blower works great. It's a super simple and super quick solution. So keep that one in your toolbox if you ever have a tank that collapses. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.